Hello, hello, and welcome to a special edition of Two Weeks, Two Minutes, which today we're calling... Not really, but you know, 12 months in 7 minutes and 28-ish seconds sounds a bit rubbish. Anyway, here's how 2016 went in cars through the eyes of us here at HJ. In January, we learned that the UK exported more cars in 2015 than it had in any year during the previous decade and that almost half of all car thefts in the UK involve a stolen key. We drove the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid and, if you've ever wondered what real value for money looks like, fret not. Mark made a video comparing the five cheapest cars on sale with one BMW that costs the same as all of them combined. In February, the police announced that buying airbags on eBay might not be the most sensible idea, while the M6 toll was listed for sale because it too appeared to be an unwise investment. This month we also went through 2015's real MPG figures to see which fell further short of their official figures and the ones that met them. Our lead road test in February was the new Hyundai i20 Active and Mark made questionable jokes about the Honda Jazz on YouTube. It's this pair of jugs. Every March, we go along to the Geneva Motor Show and wonder why there are so many people taking photographs of weird stuff, like locking wheel nuts. Thankfully, we're not that easily distracted, so we spent our time looking at really fast Jaguars, Maserati SUVs, and the occasional French people carrier. Honestjohn.co.uk was named best automotive website by a leading car industry newswire, plus the 2016 budget was announced. Meanwhile, Mark forgot his trousers for a Ford Mondeo review. Those zany car manufacturers proved they're not all sales targets and emission scandals by putting together a few April Fool's gags. Loads of cars came out in April, like this one, this one, and this one. While zany Audi made the A3 look a tiny bit different. Meanwhile, Mark probably should have forgotten his trousers for a Land Rover Discovery review. I thought we're doing disco sport today. We are. Thanks a lot, John. In May, we hosted the annual Honest John Awards. Every year, we crown cars, well, not literally, based on what's most popular with you, our lovely readers. Overall winner in 2016 was the Suzuki Vitara. The Suzuki Baleno and the Ford Edge were our lead road tests in May. Plus, we told you what sort of stuff you can buy for 100 quid on a PCP. Some crackers, too. The month's video was the Kia Sportage. The material wrote itself. Whoa! Sportage! Boom! Sportage man! Sportage You can't get into that man, that's that lass's car! Nigga! Oh, oh, come on! You can get this here! I'm going to win the lasses! Oh, oh man! Pure yeah. Sportage! In 2016, Skoda celebrated 15 years of its sporty VRS badge, so we had a good look at every model from its past. Then we had a look at the car name badges that are disappearing from UK roads the fastest. Spoiler alert, the Fiat Brava is in first place. In other news, we also saw plenty of new car announcements, including the Audi A5, Ford Ka Plus, and an all-new Citroen C3. And we also tested the Seat Ateca, Volkswagen Tiguan and the MG G G G S G S G S. Oh, and Mark matched his gold shoes and hat in the name of testing a Skoda. Well, well done. At the end of June, a little thing called Brexit happened. Nothing major, but it took until July for car-related side effects to start. We also looked at what Brexit means for the classic car market and how the falling pound was pushing up fuel prices again. And then later in the year, they rose some more. In other news, PSA announced it would publish more realistic fuel economy figures for Peugeot, Citroen and DS models. Meanwhile, we tested the Hyundai Ioniq and found it to be a worthy alternative to the Toyota Prius. Plus, we reviewed the all-new Renault Megane and Mark put the Ssangyong Tivoli through an X-Factor style challenge. Well, it's basically just three little cars parked around the side of someone's townhouse. Oh, um, <coughs> blast! Traditionally a quiet month for new cars, August nonetheless saw a few announcements including the Kia Rio. We had a look at 10 easy to ride A2 friendly motorbikes and we also came up with 10 gadgets you can use to modernise an older car. We added a full review of the Jaguar F-Pace and a road test of the all wheel drive Skoda Octavia VRS while Land Rover announced a surprisingly small sensible engine for the Range Rover Sport. August Lullover, we had a good look at the all new, bigger and 100% uglier Honda Civic, which will be built in Swindon. We also told you our favourite SUVs for less than 30 grand and we learned that loads of drivers admit to speeding in 20 mile per hour zones, tut tut. The Ford Ka Plus, the Vauxhall Mokka X and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate were our main road tests, while the Volvo XC90's unique safety features stopped me from having a common sort of accident. <laughs> Moose detection. Of 
course it's got moose detection. Every two years we get on a train or a plane or a boat. Well, I don't because I don't like boats. There's a I hate ferries, there's an incident. Anyway, we go to France to enjoy the wonders of the Paris Motor Show. Oh. Highlights of the 2016 show included the new Peugeot 3008, a Land Rover Discovery and the BMW X2. All SUVs, because soon only SUVs will exist. Mark and I drove all the way to the show in a 1996 Renault Clio, no ferries, except it broke down several times on the way, so we made a video about the whole shambles. And in keeping with a French-themed October, Mark also made a video review of the Peugeot 308 GTI. Again, on YouTube. Not again. This happens every time. Following lots of new car announcements in October, November has set aside for driving some of them, including the Peugeot 3008, Skoda Kodiak and Toyota CHR. Again, all crossovers. 2016 will certainly be remembered as the year everyone bought big, tall cars. For our video review, we tested... This! The slightly taller, slightly fatter QX30. It's a crossover. Have you had enough of SUVs yet? Road Safety Week also happened in November, so I made a video about some shocking road safety facts and put together 10 tips to help you stay within the speed limit. Every Christmas we give away a huge bundle of prizes to one lucky reader and 2016 is no different. You can still recap all of our best gift ideas from books to in-car gadgets, experience days and a variety of oddities just in time for the January sales. And even though it's party season there are still bundles of cars to test with December seeing us get behind the wheel of the updated Dacia Duster, the Citroen C3, the Renault Scenic and the Smart 2 Cabrio. Perfect winter car I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, Mark's final video review of the year is for the Toyota Prius. The Prius with its inferior boot size. Bosh, straight in. Now that's road testing. Or should I say, roadie testing. <laughs> So that's your news in however long it lasted. Terrible review. Terrible.